Hello, uh, welcome back to another one of my video things. Um, I'm at the Roach, is one of my favourite places. I'm often here. It's it's only just up the road from where I live, so it's uh, it's on my doorstep as I frequently put on my videos. Uh, all the wildlife's just waking up. Uh, hopefully, they're going to let me just take a few photographs. You know, I'm not disturbing them too much. But it's beautiful. The weatherman said it'd be foggy today. Got up, foggy. Um, I've already taken a few shots. It's mostly going to be sort of tree compositions, I think, right now, because why not make the most of the fog? I may head up to the top of the ridge and see what I can do up there with the rocks. Uh, but for now, I'm going to wander along and see what interesting things I can stick in this frame. <laughs> Now this is a shot I've done before, it's uh, the pathway leading up here, uh, but uh, with, the, with the fog around you can often get a different look at it. Uh, the downside, I mentioned on one of my videos when I came here, they'd uh, done quite a bit of logging and you know, they've actually done even more since then. So trying to find good spots where there isn't a load of chopped trees, because it just ruins it, the, you know, the whole element of the natural aspect of it. It's just gone when you've got a, the arse end of a tree that's been chopped down in front of it. But this one, uh, this, this I thought this will work, I think. Let's give you a look at it. The setting I've gone for is half a second F16, uh, ISO 100. I just want to give it, soften the light a little bit with that half second exposure. I'm not going to do bracketing. I just want to get the shot. Uh, so F16 should keep enough uh, in focus because the fog's going to do the rest of the work at the back and uh, yeah let's see how that works out so as you can see on the screen uh, I've got the pathway straight up nice bit of framing either side because you've got the rocks this tree on the right is quite stark I think against that foggy background so I'm not really sure what to do about that I could pull back a bit more because there's a couple of trees let's see if I can do this without falling over there are two trees that can act as frames here and here, but I'm gonna to have to come way back down the path and that leaves, I think, too much path. What I could do is drop the camera down really low and that'll make that gap appear a lot less. A little bit of trickery there. Um, but as it stands, I'm gonna try and get that shot to start with. I mean, even just on this video, I think that looks pretty cool. So I've been eyeing up this rock here and I, I'm trying to decide whether there's a, a shot to be had. Um, I, that tree is just, see at the side, just a bit too close to it. So I'm walking around it just to see if there's something I can do. Um, it's getting a, getting a bit rainy, although it said it wouldn't rain, good, you know, British weather, it doesn't give a toss what the weatherman says. Uh, there is a fallen log across it as well. Uh, but I, I did a shot uh, at Baslow that didn't work out too bad with a log that was sort of, it was in the in the composition, but it, it looked great, it looked a part of it, so I might be able to work that too. Um, but yeah, this is the sort of thing, if, you, if you're not sure if there's a shot, walk around it for a bit, see what you can come up with. Um, hmm, yeah, I like it, I like that rock, there's got to be a shot there. So, I've decided on this. Uh, I've kept that log in. It goes right across the uh, right across the composition. The rock takes up the centre. That tree to the side. I'm not. I'm not sure if it sort of unbalances a little bit, but there is a fallen log to the right as well, which in the fog you can't quite see. Uh, but once you get that into Lightroom, that'll pick that out a bit more. That might work. Uh, and just for the record, I'm using the kit lens on this, uh, the 15 to 55. So. Uh, I may try it with the 50 mil as well. Yeah, uh, let's see how we do.
another tree shot uh, it's going to be interesting to see which ones of these make it into the final cut uh, always looking for a solo tree when it's foggy got this one here downside is that i don't know i'm gonna have to get the angle right i like the little tree to the left of it so there we go there's a little tree to the left that's fine uh and this bad boy there but that's a lot of a lot of light coming over that ridge diffused by the fog of course i'm just not sure how well it's going to turn out so we're try and get that zoomed in a little bit there we go uh get that back in focus so yeah over that ridge that could be a problem um and we have to move up the up this bank a little bit just to try and get over the top of the tree almost I get some of the best, what I call middle earth shots at the roaches, uh, the strange rock formations and this, this beautiful bit of woodland. Uh, they make for some great um, atmospheric shots and especially with the fog like this, absolutely beautiful. Uh, look at these, the clumps of grass that have grown over the rock and the moss. And then you lead up almost to a tunnel there, just amazing stuff. And you know, you get this into Lightroom, cheat a little bit with a little bit of contrast and they should look pretty cool. I decided to uh, for go for this shot. Um, there we go. Same again, half a second, F16. I think this is pretty sweet. Using the grass there uh, in the foreground as the leading line up to the gap, uh, framed on each side by the trees, should look pretty good. Too old for this. Okay, uh, I'm on the ridge of the roaches now, and over there is Doxy's Pool or the Mermaid Pool, which legend has it is bottomless. So I imagine that's absolute bollocks, but uh, you never know, could be some geological quirk maybe it leads to another water source uh it's quite nice up here in a sort of <laughs> barren moonscape kind of way uh down from the edge you can see there you go pretty but not somewhere i want to fall no thank you the challenge of course is going to be getting a composition uh with that water making it look good in this fog I've got to be honest with you right now, I've not seen it. Um, but I'm gonna have a wander around, see how much uh, mud I can get up to my knees in. And uh, yeah, I've, I've got some great shots up here up here in the summer. But this, this oh, in the winter as well, I did some winter shots too, but uh, I don't know, just rocks and water. Let's see how it goes. So the plan at the moment is to use the water feature there and the pool and the rocks here and then perhaps going to the rocks to the side there and that's all the rock at the back there which is actually a series of rocks uh, a little bit fading in the fog at the moment but then what i thought i might try is to come down low and then really make use of these rocks here because you've still got that water feature on the right still got the rocks there you still got the pool and it might just make a, a better perspective shot so i'm going to give that a whirl One of the great things for me and the roaches is that because I know it quite well, I've been coming here a long time, as I mentioned earlier, the better you know the area, the more you can quickly get to uh, the composition that you want. Uh, if you've got fleeting weather conditions, so be it fog or snow, a hoar frost, a sunset, if you know the area and you've scouted out before, if you do a lot of shots here, you've got a great advantage. Um, and you can you can just sneak in those shots and also you know your own limitations you know how long it takes you to get up the bank uh, which is important when you've got my level of non-fitness uh there we go uh it's been a good morning up here 
have enjoyed it. I don't know how well the shots are going to work out. I never do. I'm just I still still not got that confidence that they're going to be good. But I'm getting there. But, you know, I, I do every now and then. I think, yeah, that's a winner, and, and it works out. Yeah, I'm going to finish my um, trip in the fog here at uh, Dox's Pool. I don't see this clearing up for a couple of hours. I don't know that I'm going to be in the area that long because I need to get home. Uh, which is a shame because it would be good to see Hen Cloud, which is straight over that way emerging from the fog. That would be nice. It looks like there's a blue sky up there. So if the fog clears and there's not a lot of cloud, you know, that, it could be good shots. Uh, I don't know, maybe I just got to persuade myself to stay. But thanks for uh, coming along on this one. I hope you've seen some nice bits. I hope these, well, these photographs work out and you see some nice views of the roaches and the fog. And uh, I look forward to taking you on another journey. At the end of this month, uh, it's March now, uh, 2021. Uh, I can go a bit further afield and I'm going to head up to the lakes. I want to get back into Wales. I certainly want to do Scotland. So it's, it's all there to play for. Uh, stick with the channel. Please like and subscribe if you like it. It'll, it'll help me to propel forwards and do more. Bye for now.